My name is Annabella Pellens. I am the mother of the Vicario children. Melania, Luciano, Valentina, and Florencia. Luciano committed suicide in the year 2000. And I have been recently contacted by eSpy in conjunction with the allegations made by my children of child abuse by my ex-husband, Philem O'Neill, between the years 1984 and 1994. I have signed a statement in front of an escribano, a notary public, which will be apostilled and sent over to be released in the UK, supporting my children in this matter. This is my statement. I have been asked to provide my account of events concerning the care proceedings involving my daughter Florencia Vicario. I understand that I am being asked to provide an account of my dealings with Helen Grant MP, who acted as Felim O'Neill's solicitor. I wish to make it clear that I do not seek any form of justice for myself. I understand that I was an adult and I accepted much of the abuse which I suffered. I do seek to correct a grave injustice which my daughters have suffered due to my actions. They have always deserved much better than I could give them. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to my daughters for failing them. I am sorry that I could not protect you. There is not a day that goes by where I do not wish I had been able to keep you safe. I hope that one day you will be able to forgive me. I watched my only son Luciano kill himself due to the abuse he and my other children suffered from Felim O'Neill. I came to this realization too late, which ultimately resulted in my son's death. I pay for my mistakes every day and will continue to do so, but I believe my daughters have suffered enough. I have watched my daughters struggle with the effects of the abuse they suffered as children for two decades now. I would like to make it clear that today I have no doubt that Felim O'Neill is guilty of the crimes of which my children have accused him since they were young. I have for some years known that I was wrong in my defense of Felim O'Neill and wrong in my presumption of his innocence. I should have known. I failed my children in not being able to either believe them or protect them. I just could not bring myself to face the horrific truth that my partner was a pedophile. I know now that all of my children were telling the truth when they said that Felim O'Neill had physically, psychologically, and sexually abused them. Helen Grant, MP, became known to me as Felim O'Neill's solicitor before 1993. I can recall speaking to her when she telephoned to speak with Felim O'Neill at the house. I did not have any real dealings with her, with her directly, but she was known to me. I, of course, recall the events of 1993. I recall the many meetings with Harrow Social Services. I recall the police investigation. I also recall the actions of Helen Grant, MP. I would wish to make it clear that it is not my intention to apportion a disproportionate amount of blame onto Helen Grant MP. However, I am of the firm opinion that she played a pivotal role in undermining my own position in favor of Felim O'Neill. I also believe that she helped Felim O'Neill prolong the abuse that my children and I suffered. 
I wish to make it clear that I initially believed that Helen Grant had wanted to help me. I remember that I needed help. I had already lost my two eldest daughters and my son by this time, and from my point of view, it was quite apparent that Harrow Social Services were intent on taking Florencia from me as well. I had told Harrow from the outset that I couldn't cope. I was more than broken by the time I reached Harrow Social Services. I received no psychological counseling for months, and by the time we did, the family had descended into fractures in fighting. I was incapable of administering any kind of authority, as this had been removed from me by Philemon O'Neill years before. I had no one to turn to, and Philemon O'Neill monopolized this. I was adamant that I would not lose my youngest daughter, and he promised me that he could help me. Helen Grant assisted Philemon O'Neill in this and added an air of respectability about what I was being asked to do. I wasn't fully aware of what I was really doing. I would like to make it clear that I was aware that Philemon O'Neill was continuously seeking the advice of Helen Grant in this period, but I personally had no direct contact with her until the end of August when I sent Florencia to Portugal. I sent Florencia to Portugal on the basis of advice given to me by Helen Grant MP. I was advised that removing Florencia from the jurisdiction was the only way to ensure that I would not lose her to Harrow Social Services. Helen Grant MP assured me that it was only a temporary measure and that Florencia would be gone for no more than six months. Helen Grant had explained that the care proceedings initiated by Harrow Social Services would have to be withdrawn if Florencia did not return after a certain time. Helen Grant MP also explained that sending Florencia to Portugal would, in effect, remove Harrow Social Services from the issue of Florencia's care proceedings. Helen Grant explained that when Florencia returned after six months, she would return to Southwark, and it would be Southwark Social Services and not Harrow who would be dealing with Florencia's case. Helen Grant had been of the opinion to me that Southwark Social Services had been far more helpful in their approach to Philem O'Neill. Helen Grant was keen to have the case removed from Harrow Social Services. I wrote and I, and I signed a number of letters in relation to the abuse of my daughters. These letters were written in conjunction with Philem O'Neill and at his direction. As I understood it at the time, these letters were being checked and amended by Helen Grant. MP. I should say that I saw nothing wrong with this at the time and was more than happy for someone to finally come to my assistance in relation to Florencia Vicario, whether officially or not. Both Felim O'Neill and Helen Grant received a number of Harrow Social Services documents from me. I have only recently been informed that this was highly improper. It shouldn't have happened. I initially asked Harrow Social Services to provide counselling for all of the family, including Philem O'Neill. I have recently seen evidence of this. I did this on the basis that Philem O'Neill ha had conceded that there had been inappropriate contact between him and Valentina but that nothing to the level of criminality had occurred that could not be sensibly addressed with social care. 
Phelim O'Neill was desperate to speak with Harrow Social Services and was frustrated that they refused to meet with him so he could deny his allegations. I can recall that Phelim O'Neill found it particularly frustrating that Harrow Social Services wished to speak with me but refused to speak to him. I did not realize it at the time, but I was a conduit through which Phelim O'Neill continued to exercise a modicum of control over my children. When Harrow Social Services made it clear that they had come to the conclusion that Phelim O'Neill was a pedophile, he determined to attack them in relation to the way that they had dealt with the family on the basis that the allegations were malicious. I also began to come round to Phelim O'Neill's position that my daughter's allegations had been over-exaggerated. I had even stated that I had over-exaggerated my own account of my abuse at the instigation of Phelim O'Neill. I do not deny the betrayal of my daughters. I do not deny the betrayal of myself. I was continually abused by Phelim O'Neill throughout my relationship with him to the extent that I could not protect my children from the same forms of abuse. I could not even protect myself. I can recall that by the end of August 1993, Phelim O'Neill and Helen Grant MP had asked me to get my lawyer and Bibi to telephone her. I can also recall my lawyer declining to do so. I can recall being asked to write to Anne Bibby to officially request that Helen Grant take over the representation of the care proceedings, which I was by then quite happy to do. She had assured me that my lawyer was failing me and that Harrow Social Services had no right to treat either myself or Phelim O'Neill in the way that they had. Helen Grant, MP, made it quite clear that the only way to forestall Harrow Social Services from taking Florencia into care was to send her out of the country. I remember receiving this advice from Helen Grant. The only advice I received from Anne Bibby was to cooperate fully and hope for the best. In the frame of mind I was in, I decided to follow the advice of Helen Grant. I can recall that Anne Baby made things extremely difficult for me and Helen Grant MP to get the file transferred. I know that Anne Baby was of the opinion that what I was doing was insane. I can recall being asked by Helen Grant to write chasing letters to Anne Bibby, confirming that I indeed wanted my file transferred to Helen Grant. Anne Bibby consistently refused to do so. I am aware now that Helen Grant MP also wrote chasing letters in conjunction with my own. I am also aware that Helen Grant telephoned Anne Bibby in order to obtain my file of papers on a number of occasions. I am also aware now that Helen Grant wrote to Anne Bibby's law firm in order to complain about her refusal to pass on the file of papers. I have since been made aware that Anne Bibby had done so on the basis of what was in Florencia's best interests. I did not understand the finer points of law and had not understood why she had been so difficult when it was my wish for Helen Grant to take over. I do now. Helen Grant, MP, was eventually allowed to represent me as she had assured me that she would be. I recall her representing me in the final hearing of Florencia's care proceedings on 20 December 1993, where Harrow Social Services were compelled 
to withdraw their application to take Florencia into care. I was advised by Helen Grant that I could bring Florencia back into the UK and did so on 22nd December 1993. Southwark Social Services took over the supervision of Florencia's care just as Helen Grant had advised, advised me that they would do. I recall attending a celebratory dinner with Phelim O'Neill, Simon Grant and Helen Grant after Florencia's return to the UK. I remember both Phelim O'Neill and Helen Grant were extremely happy with the way that things had worked out. I was happy to have Florencia back with me. I would like to say that I would never have gone against my own solicitor's advice had Helen Grant MP not convinced me that I should send Florencia to Portugal. I had for some time thought that Helen Grant had helped me, but can see now that she was never really my solicitor, but always his. This is my statement, signed and sealed.